In a previous video, we showed how to get input from users, but you can also get inputs from a CSV file, which is great when you have a whole bunch of different inputs, or if you want to change them frequently without having to update your pipe, you can just update the CSV file instead. I recommend watching the 2-Minute Yahoo Pipes demo if you haven't already, since we build on the concepts developed there. So in this case, instead of fetching the feeds directly like we did in the 2-Minute demo, we are going to fetch them from a CSV file, and then we'll do the same filtering that we did before and sorting as well. So in this case, we pull in the fetch CSV module. We give it the URL for the CSV that we have. In this case, the CSV just contains feeds for Read Write Web, GigaOM, and a few of the other big news blogs. If you have multiple columns, which we don't, you have to tell it how they're separated. Also, if you didn't use the first row as a column name, then you'll need to give it a column name down here, so we'll call it CSV URLs. The next thing we're going to do is we need to loop through each of the items in the CSV file so that we can fetch each one of the feeds. So we'll loop through, we'll grab the fetch feed module, then we'll just tell it to fetch the CSV URLs, which is what we defined up above. By default, it assigns all of the items to a new variable, which you can do, but in this case we want to omit all of the results, which basically sends it directly to the output of the pipe so that we can connect it here and send it right through the filter and the rest of the pipe. So we're going to click Save, and then when we run the pipe, we should see the items from the blogs that we specified. Um, but only the ones that match the search terms Google and Yahoo.